So, uh, since I ran into uh, machining uh, starter uh, issues for the eight straight eight there, I decided to drop back to a straight six. I mentioned this in some comments earlier, but so I've got the first uh, manifold made here for the first three cylinders, and uh, I got the second one started. Uh, I've got uh, number uh, five cylinder uh, downstairs right now, uh, having some. Uh, connecting rod issues on it. I don't know if it's got a bent crankshaft or what's going on, but I gotta make it work um, since uh, the snout of the crankshaft has been machined to uh, accept uh, a sprocket there, so it fits right in this location there with two uh, uh, chain couplings on it. A love joy there between number uh, three and four, and that's when my distributor drive is gonna come out. These guys here are all bolted down good there. I got them uh, first four cylinders, uh, camshafts all phased correctly and that. They're, they're ready to roll. So I'll uh, make a video uh, showing my uh, crankshaft uh, slash connecting rod uh, woes for number five cylinder on uh, the six cylinder here. Okay, so here I got the crankshaft and uh, the connecting rod I'm going to use uh, for uh, cylinder number five here and uh, the problem I got is I got it torqued uh, but it's it's tight it's uh, fairly tight it's nothing like it was uh, before I started this process uh, you couldn't even budge it it was basically locked solid and I don't understand why um, this this and two other connecting rods did the same thing bound up and uh, then I tried uh, a different connecting rod and it worked fine um, but unfortunately uh, that connecting rod uh, had issues and I, I couldn't uh, actually use it so this one here was uh, from an engine that was kind of burnt up I'll, uh, Stop the video and show you the internals here after I tear it back apart. So here's what this uh, connecting rod looks like. As you can see, it's all scored up. Uh, it was uh, black and basically got ran low on oil or something, got hot, probably started sticking to the crankshaft. But uh, I'm not, uh, you know, when you got 250 engines, sometimes you lose track of which one you pulled apart, which crank came out of which one, and which connecting rod and all that. So. I'm not 100% sure which engine this actually came out of. Uh, or the, actually, the connecting rod I, I know, but I don't know the crankshaft. And then here's the cap. So it's got uh, scores in it. So I mic'd the, I mic'd the crankshaft, and uh, it seemed to be fine. I don't know if maybe the crankshaft's bent or what's going on, but the problem, see, the problem I got is I got this end uh, specially machined down here. So I have to use this crankshaft. I, I can't not use this crankshaft. So what I'm doing is uh, I started out with 320 grit sandpaper and I sanded the scuffs out of here. Uh, basically I'm loosening the connecting rod up until it fits this crankshaft. And to continue the process I've taken fine valve grinding compound and applied it on here and then I put it on crankshaft also and then I put it back together and lightly torque it and spin it around in a circle. Uh, I can show that also uh, since I have to do it again. Um, spin it around in a circle to basically uh, lap the two surfaces together to uh, gain the fit that I need. Now, you gotta remember though that uh, this uh, engine's running time is measured in uh, minutes, not in hours as a normal engine would be. So you can't, you know, you shouldn't do things like this on an engine that you want to actually load down and run. But these Frankenbrigs is generally uh, aren't under load and they don't run very long so I can get away with uh, doing things like this. So here's the basic process uh, that I'm doing. I've got the valve lapping compound put in there, a fine compound, and I just take it and uh, rock it back and forth. Go around the bottom also. Center. and also move the rod back and forth 
from one side to the other if you want it all uniform. Basically, I guess I'm trying to hone this out or lap the two to match each other, one of the two. But uh, that's the process I'm going to, and I've just barely got the the Conrod um, bolts here uh, finger tight at this point. I um, I uh, had them tighter, but uh, it just seizes right up solid. And I add uh, oil to the valve lap and compound also to uh, lubricate the two together. So kind of a screwy operation, but I don't know any other way to do it. Um, say this connecting rod was burnt up to start with, and and uh, so it's not like I'm wasting on a good connecting rod here. But you know, I just want to get uh, get the six cylinder and then the eight cylinder engine running. So I guess we'll know what happened if happens if uh, number five cylinder puts a rod out the side. <laughs> Hopefully that won't happen though. Here's what it looks like when I uh, disassemble it there. You see the lapping compound has some grooves in it there. Something on the cap. The crankshaft there. I'll clean it off and show you what it looks like. And here's what it looks like when I clean the valve lap and compound off. Kind of a dull gray finish. You can see the, the scores in the con rod there and in the cap. And the crankshaft, it uh, looks like it's got kind of similar uh, areas on it. Won't hang my fingernail up though, so they're not, not very deep. And uh, of course I've got to clean all of this off uh, very carefully with a uh, brake cleaner or bar saw or a combination of them to get all of the lapping compound out of my surfaces. Otherwise it'll uh, tear the engine up in a hurry. So, uh, but I, I think I've got it loose enough now that it'll actually work in the engine. So. It uh, looks like the process uh, may have worked for uh, this particular application, which is uh, good. So, it looks like that process was successful. It, uh, it's nice and loose. I got it torqued to the 100 uh, inch-pounds there that it's supposed to be, and it uh, swings around nice and freely. Uh, if I can find any plastic gauge around, I will uh, check the clearance, just out of curiosity, to see if I've got the... Uh, clearance between the con rod and the crankshaft correct but uh, at least it's working and uh, as I said at the start I have no idea uh, why uh, the connecting rod wouldn't turn since uh, the crank uh, micrometered out at the right uh, diameter and uh, the other con rods I tried were all factory size so a bit of a mystery I was starting to think I had a bent crankshaft or something which uh, isn't impossible so uh, but anyway, it, since it swings so freely, it uh, should be uh, pretty well uh, good to go here.